Good evening. Media man Trevor Roberts has claimed a landslide victory and the Townsville City Council by-election. The independent candidate will be sworn in as an official councillor next Monday. After six weeks of tireless campaigning, Saturday was D-Day. Hi, I'm Joanne. It was such a novelty to vote for yourself. <laughs> but his one vote wouldn't have made a difference. As the ballot papers were counted, Trevor Roberts became the clear-cut winner. The Wynn Television sales executive polling almost twice as many votes as his closest rivals, winning booths across the city in a landslide victory. I went in thinking I had a chance and as the, the votes were rolling in or the counts were rolling in on Saturday night, I just couldn't believe the response that I had. It was very pleasing. The councillor-elect today met with Mayor Les Tyrrell, vowing to be an independent voice on council. I like to think for myself and make my own decisions, but uh, having said that, it's not about going there to cause trouble or do things like that. I just simply want to look at every issue from a balanced point of view. I think he'll be a great asset for the city as a councillor, and I'm certainly looking forward to working with him. Green's candidate Jenny Sterling was runner-up. For the past four years, she's thrown her hat into the ring at every election held in Townsville. Despite tasting disappointment again, she's now looking to next year's state election and says she's content with the weekend result. There are people who have voted Green for the very first time and I want to congratulate them and, uh, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to, you know, to do that for them. Roughly 65% of enrolled voters turned out to have their say. Council says it's not a disappointing figure. It was about a six week lead up to the, to the election so the candidates didn't have a lot of time themselves in terms of doing their door knockings and getting the information out there. Council will decide whether it will find non-voters at a meeting on December 16th. Claire Robinson, Wing News.